Hi there! Today we will learn another irregular verb. Today we will see the verb dar. Dar means to give. So you can see it is a very important verb, same as give is in English. The verb dar, if we separate the root from the ending of the verb, the root would be the letter D and the ending ar. Okay? That makes it belong to the first group of verbs. So, just with such a short root, it's quite uh, obvious that this uh, verb becomes irregular, okay? So, we'll see the conjugation in the present, the past, simple past, the future, two types of future, right? I will go and I am going to go, or I will give and I am going to give, right? The present continuous and the imperative tense, in the affirmative and the negative. I have, ch I have chosen these tenses because these are the, the most used tenses when we are speaking, right? And even writing. So, um, these are the tenses we will be working with now. In the present tense, yo doy, yo doy, that means I give. Tu das, you give. El da or ella da, he or she gives. Nosotros damos. We give. Usted, sorry, vosotros dais. You plural, give. Ustedes dan. Again, you plural, give. And ellos dan, they give. For example, uh, yo doy las gracias. I say thank you. In Spanish, to thank we say to give the thanks, right? That's how we literally would speak in Spanish. Uh, I give the thanks. Yo doy las gracias. Or I thank, right? Or we can say, I give you this. Yo te doy esto. Okay? Esto means this. But I give you, I give him, I give her, right? That pronoun would go in between of the subject and the verb. Here I'll show you how the, these pronouns are used. Me, for me. Te, for you. Le, for him or her. Nos, for uh, us. Os, for you, uh, Spanish you. Uh, les for Latin American, you plural, and les again for they, right, them, actually. So if I want to say, I give you, I would say, yo te doy. If I want to say, I give them, I would say, yo les doy, okay? If I want to say, he gave me this book. Él me dio in the past este libro. This book. Él me dio este libro. Okay? Let's conjugate it in the simple past. Yo di. I gave. Tú diste. You gave. Él dio or ella dio. Nosotros Dimos, vosotros disteis, ustedes dieron, and ellos dieron. I can say, they gave me this, ellos me dieron esto, right? Let's see simple future now. I will give, yo daré. I will give, right? Tú darás. Él o ella dará. Nosotros daremos. Vosotros daréis. Ustedes darán. And ellos darán. They will give. Let's see, for example. They will uh, they 
will give her a present. They will give her a present. Ellos, which is the word for her. Remember that the her or the me would go in between of the subject and the verb, right? In between. So, ellos, her, le, this is him or her, right? Or it. Ellos le darán un presente or un regalo. A present, okay? Now let's see future number two. Future number two is I am going to give. I will give and I am going to give. Okay? Yo voy a dar. Yo voy a dar. I am going to give. Tú vas a dar. You are going to give. Él o ella va a dar. Nosotros vamos a dar. Vosotros vais a dar. Ustedes van a dar. And ellos van a dar. For they are going to give. Right? Uh, for example, ellos van a darme una sorpresa. They are going to give me a surprise. Here, when we use this kind of future, right, where we have an auxiliary verb, the, the pronoun him, her, me would go here, okay, at the end of that. For example, they are going to give me a surprise. Ellos van a darme una sorpresa. Or if I wanted to say, I will give them a watch. Yo voy a darles un reloj. Yo voy a darles. Give them. Darles un reloj. A watch. Okay? Remember how to use this, these pronouns. Let's see now this, the present continues. Yo estoy dando. Yo estoy dando means I am giving, right? Yo estoy dando. Here we can choose, here we can choose where to put the pronoun. For example, I am giving you this. I am giving you this. I can say, yo, yo, te, for you, te, estoy dando esto, for I am giving you this, or I can also say it this way, yo, estoy dándote esto, right? So I can, I can use the pronoun here at the end of the verb, like in future number two, or I can use it here in between of the auxiliary verb and the subject as in the other uh, tenses, okay? Tú estás dando. You are giving. Él está dando. He is giving. Nosotros estamos dando. Vosotros estáis dando. Ustedes están dando and ellos están dando they are giving for example uh, they are giving us uh, some food right they are giving us some food the word for us would be nos right nos and I can choose to put it here or at the end of dando, right? Both ways would be correct. For example, I can say, sorry here, ellos nos están dando comida, or ellos están dando nos comida, right? Remember when we add it after the verb, it actually uh, fuses into the verb, so it forms one single word, right? Dándonos would be one single word.